Hello and thanks for tuning in to another Braille Note Touch Snapshot tutorial video. My name is Greg Stilson. I'm HumanWare's Product Manager of Blindness Products and with me is Peter Tusick, one of our great product specialists and Google Classroom extraordinaire. Hi Peter. How's it going Greg? Hey, thanks for joining us. So Peter is going to take us through uh, some Google Classroom concepts. Uh, we've, we've done a few classroom demos in the past and one of the great things about Google Classroom as a learning management system is that if your district is using it, it, it gives access to a bunch of different file formats and ways of, of interacting with, with other students and teachers um, in a really seamless mechanism. Um, the Braille Note Touch gives a totally accessible and also really efficient way for a blind student to do this uh, using Braille as their, their medium of interaction. So everything that Peter's going to be showing is going to be done using uh, contracted Braille or, or uncontracted Braille if he chose. And at this stage, we're going to walk through the process of submitting a Google form in an assignment that requires the student to actually fill out a Google form to complete their worksheet and things like that. So without further ado, I'm going to turn it over to Peter to walk you through some Google Classroom Google Form interaction. All right, Greg. Thanks so much. So what we're going to do is exactly what Greg said. And there's one caveat. I have already, <laughs> I have already filled out this Google form. And actually, I unintentionally submitted it because I was doing my work too well and I should not have turned it in. So we're going to see some responses that I have already created. But the premise behind this is that we're going to be able to use our Braille display to identify uh, in this particular assignment different quotes and quotation use and how we can properly use that. The reason why it's very important is because I'm using the Braille Note Touch, I have a Braille display and I'm going to be able to see exactly how sentences are quoted and I'm going to be able to check or not check the appropriate or inappropriate answers. And we're going to see how we do that. So it's a, a, a grammar exercise. I am on the main menu and I'm going to come in and open up classroom and away we go. So I'm going to press the letter A to move to my all applications. All applications. Option, and I'm going to use enter or a cursor router button to open. Main menu all I'm placed apps. into my Airtime main layer. menu of all applications. I want to go to classroom. So I'm going to press the letter C until Calendar. I get to the Google Classroom app. Camera, Chrome. Classroom. Here's classroom. I'm going to use a cursor router button or enter to open it up. And my focus will be placed on my first class. Classes. Seventh grade lit test site. Jody so again, Speck. this is going to be my seventh grade um, test site for literature. And there are a number of different assignments in here. And when I open this, we're going to be placed into my assignments list. So I'm going to use a cursor router button or enter to activate the class that I want to open. Seventh grade lit test site. Assignment, Jody Specht, February 15, quote quiz for Mastery 2. All right. So again, I'm placed into my assignments list, and this is a list. I can move to the top of my assignments list to see my most recent assignment by using L with space or 1, 2, 3 with space at the same time. Or I can move to the bottom of my assignments list by pressing space with 4, 5, 6. I could also use my previous or next thumb key to look at my list of assignments. However, this is the assignment that I want to look at, and it is... Uh, called quote quiz for mastery two. So again, it's going to be a quiz that I need to fill out and have some quotes. So I'm going to activate this by using enter or a cursor router button and it's going to open this assignment. Quote quiz for mastery two. Okay. And once I open this up, we're going to see that there are some instructions. So we're going to see quote those. Quiz for mastery two. And Top. what it wants me to do is I use my next thumb back key. Back to class stream, is I'm going more to see options, a couple button. Of options. I see more options and back to class stream. We're going to keep coming down. Instructions. And we see that I have an instructions heading. Your in work. My work. Assignment posted we see February when the assignment 15. Was posted. Quote quiz for mastery two. And we see the title of the assignment again. Complete the Google form. To show your mastery of quotes. And we see that it says complete the Google form to show your mastery of quotes. I need to find the Google form. And in this case, it's, it's going to be a, a file. And we're going to use our next thumb key to move to it. Materials. So materials. Quote quiz for mastery file. And again, files. I was just using my next thumb key. So I saw materials. And here is my quote quiz for mastery file. This is what I need to click on to actually open up the Google form. I am going to, I have, I have told my brand that every time I click on a link or a Google form, it's going to open it up in KeyWeb. Again, it's because I want that Braille first web interface. I want that Braille first web experience. So when I click on this using an enter or a cursor router button, it's going to open it up in KeyWeb. KeyWeb. Loading. 
You've already, you've already responded. You've already responded. So we see that, yes, I have already responded to this Google form. And we're about to see that I did not do so well. I got 9 out of 16. And that is a D. So I hope that everyone out there, if you have to take this quiz, you do better than I did. But I am going to, we want to view my responses because I want everyone to see what, what I did to fill this out. I am going to press the letter V to jump Clear right to the link. Clear score link. I could have used my next thumb key to move to that option as well. I happen to know that there was a link on this page that said view your score. So again, I could use my next thumb key and move through this line by line, but it's always good to, when I can, I'm using Keysoft and again, using the shortcuts to get to where I need to go. So I'm going to click on this view your score link. And I know it's a link if I'm not using speech because there, it is surrounded by brackets. I see a two, four, six before the word view and a one, three, five, or as in the letter O, after the um, after the word after the e in the word score, so I know that it is a link that I can click on, and I'm going to click it. New tab. You've already responded. What it's going to do is load this form. Quote quiz for mastery. Quote quiz for mastery. Heading All level right. one. And we see Page loaded. that I am now in my quote quiz for mastery, and I'm going to use my next thumb key, and you will see. Total points. Nine slash fifteen. Ouch. So I only got nine out of fifteen. And uh, I really, I guess I need to really work on my quotes. But um, as I move forward, we're going to look at my responses. And it's very important because we're going to be able to read my responses and read our choices on the Braille display. If I press my next thumb key. Type your name, heading so level two, first item, name, list 16 item. Peter Tusik. Okay. One, select the direct quote that is punctuated correctly. So this is heading fantastic. level two. So again, we see that every question. Is, is a heading so I could use heading navigation to move through my questions quickly if I needed to um, we the first question says select the direct quote that is punctuated correctly going to press my next thumb key one slash I got one this one right received for this question one out of one so I did this one properly but for instance would you like some help the shop assistant asked me so label one select the direct and quote that is boxes, and I did not check this box but it says, open quote, capital, would you like some help, comma, close quote, the shop assistant asked me, period. Again, I can read that on the Braille display. And I know that's not correct because there should have been a question mark inside those quotations. Would you like some help, question mark, close quote, the shop assistant asked me. So I'm going to move to my next response. Would you like some, would you like some help, the shop assistant asked me. And again, me. Label this radio one button. I know is not right. It says, open quote, would you like some help, close quote. The shop assistant asked me question mark. So again, I'm identifying that punctuation on my Braille display. And I'm working through this assignment at the same speed as all of my peers. And I'm going to move down and we'll see that would the proper like some answer, would the third like one is not help? right either. Would you but like the some help? Would you like some help? Is correct. And it's open quote, would you like some help? Question mark, close quote. The shop assistant asked me, period. And again, I'm able to move through and I would check that box using a cursor router button. And I'm able to move through my questions and fill out my appropriate responses. At the bottom of the page was an option to submit. And when I do that, it's automatically graded based on the Google form and how it's been, how it's been done. So I'm turning this in on KeyWeb. I am not turning this in in Classroom. And that's the difference between this assignment and for those of you who have watched previous assignments where I've used a turn in button and I've had the ability to turn it in, say, an attached document. This one, I am using strictly the Google Forms environment to complete this grammatical assignment. So one, a couple things that are, are pretty cool about this, Peter, is that the way that Classroom and the internet browser, KeyWeb, interact though, even though you're not in Classroom, you seamlessly kind of got automatically switched over to the, the internet browser to access that Google Form, right? Absolutely, and the same is true in, in some of the previous videos where you may have seen me watch a YouTube video, for instance, in Classroom. I click on that video and I have told my touch to always open YouTube videos in the YouTube app, much like I have told it to always open Google Forms in the, in the KeyWeb app. So it's seamlessly moving me to the appropriate place uh, that's going to correlate with that assignment that I may be looking at. That's really cool. And I think the other thing to, to really focus on here is just how important that Braille display is in this type of grammatical uh, type of quiz. I mean, when, when we were hearing that text-to-speech voice, the subtleties in the voice inflection are, are hardly perceptible to the average user. And so if you were going to try to determine which one had a comma versus which one had a question mark versus which one had a period, that'd be almost indecipherable from the from the voice right 
Absolutely. And I, I think that that's, that's one of the important parts here is we're using the Braille display and not only are we using it, but we're doing this assignment at the same time and in the same manner as all of our sighted peers, right? So I'm participating in this, this assignment. It's a regular assignment that maybe 19 other students in my class are working on who are all sighted and using whatever it is they're using to access this Google form. So I'm not having to need to um, print it out and do something a little bit differently. It doesn't mean that that's a bad thing, but it means that I'm doing it at the same speed as everyone else using the same environment. And that's, that's really what we, we strive for with the Braille Note Touch is fostering inclusion in the mainstream classroom or in any classroom with your sighted peers. And I think that's, that's so powerful. Well, Peter, I think we all agree that you need to work on your, uh, on your grammar. Um, we need to turn that D into an A at some point, but let's work on getting your assignments turned in on time first. So uh, on behalf of, uh, of HumanWare, we want to thank you, Peter Tusik, for, uh, for, for being the Google Classroom extraordinaire, and uh, we'll look forward to speaking to all of you soon in a future Braille Note Touch snapshot video. Thanks for tuning in.